continuously optimize all parts of your funnel. Up to this point, you already know how to build a following on Instagram. You also already know how to create content that would not only build up your following, but can also draw attention to your profile page. Your profile page, of course, is where your target link is. When people click your target link, they go outside of Instagram and they go to a page you specify. This is the page where the action takes place. This page can be a consumer guide which qualifies your traffic. People can then click through to a page that's deeper inside your website. Ultimately, they can click on a link to go to the squeeze page for your mailing list. This is the page that recruits people to join your mailing list. You can also promote a sales page using these internal pages. There are just so many ways you can go with this. But regardless of how you plan to convert free or paid traffic on Instagram into paying customers, you need to optimize all parts of this funnel. The funnel starts with your content on Instagram. It gets narrower when people click through to your profile page. From there, it goes to a page on your website. From there, it can either go to an internal page or to a sales page or a squeeze page. Whatever the case may be, you need a very broad top for your funnel and each smaller part of your funnel needs to be as broad as possible. Why? The more people you have coming in, the higher the total number of people you can convert if you set up your funnel right. And here comes the bad news. It's one thing to say that you're going to have to optimize all parts of your sales funnel. It's another to actually succeed doing them. You see, the biggest challenge here is random optimization. When people get the idea that they need to optimize their sales funnel, they basically would come up with a completely new funnel. They would come up with completely new ads. They would mix and match. And sometimes they succeed, but most of the time, they don't really come up with much of an improvement. Why? They're doing it in a random way. Make no mistake, random optimization is usually a waste of time. It really is. Even on the off chance that you were able to make certain random changes and all of a sudden your funnel converts at a higher rate, you're still in the dark. Why? You don't know which part of your funnel accounts for the improvement. And even if you are able to see which parts account for the difference, you don't know which segment of that part improved your results. Do you see how this works? Do you see why this is so confusing and so frustrating? Use elemental optimization. Thankfully, there is a better way to do optimization. You can use elemental optimization. Instead of just taking random guesses as to what would turbocharge the results of your sales funnel, you break up each part of the sales funnel process into elements and you make changes on an element-to-element -element basis. This way, you will only move on to the next element once you have improved the results of the previous element to a certain degree. Once you're happy with those improvements, then you move on to the next element, and then the next element after that. Please understand that the sales funnel is made up of many different parts. Each of these have different elements, but they can all be broken down into some common elements. The sales funnel, of course, involves the photos that you use on Instagram, your profile page, your consumer article or landing page article, and then your internal pages. Each of these have to be optimized, and each of these have separate elements within them. For this video, I'm just going to focus on the elements that can be found on Instagram. You can use the same element-by-element -element analysis to optimize your squeeze page, your consumer guide page, and other elements on your own website. But as far as this training is concerned, we're just going to focus on the elements found on Instagram. Key elements to keep in mind. When optimizing, here are the elements that you should focus on. Profile URL. This is the profile page that you have on Instagram. You can change the picture, you can change the description, but just make sure that when you make changes, you go element by element. This means you can swap out pictures until you get a nice improvement. Once the improvement is sustainable, you then change the text. See if it improves your click-through rate. Once you are able to do that, then you can change the landing page URL. Photos and videos. This should be obvious. These are the photos and videos that you post. Pay attention to engagement levels. Pay attention to click-through. If you notice that certain photos tend to get a lot more clicks, then post more of those photos. Keep posting similar photos until you can reach a sustainable high level of click-throughs. Hashtags. Keep switching around hashtags to see if there is any marked improvement in your click-through and your conversions. After you've reversed engineered your competitors, you should have a starting point. But don't end there. Keep playing around with the hashtags, customize the hashtags, and research related hashtags to see if you can get better results. Description. This is the text that you post along with your photos or videos. Post the same picture, but play around with different descriptions. 
See if these different calls to action lead to greater click-throughs and eventually greater conversions. Posting time. If you're using software to post on Instagram, take note of when your content is posted. Pay attention to when most of your engagement takes place. Try to line up your posting time with engagement levels to optimize the effectiveness of your content. What to look for. When optimizing, you should look for the following. These indicate success. Look for increased click-through rate, increased dwell time, deeper clicks inside your website, and better conversion rates. Of course, we all know that at the end of the day, conversion is what matters the most. In fact, it's the only thing that matters. How come? Conversions puts dollars in your pockets and nothing else. However, to get there, you have to increase click-through rates. You also have to see if the page that you are presenting to people you draw from Instagram holds their attention for a longer time. You can keep optimizing that page to maximize dwell time. Also, pay attention to your initial content on your own website to see if you can optimize it so you can get deeper clicks. The more internal pages, the more the person views, the more interested that person is in whatever it is you have to offer. Ultimately, if you take care of these in an element-by-element -element basis, you can increase conversion rates.